Welcome back everyone, and it is really smoky out here today, Jesus. Dane smoke came back guys. So as we just wrapped up our last video on Series Gray, I hope every one of you enjoyed that. That was a really fun video to make and it was a great time. Now today we are going to be making a video that you have all been asking for and that is what is our transmission cocktail consist of. So we're going to be doing that today on the Legacy that we just finished. Uh, we're going to go ahead start the scene up, do a cold start for the boys. I'm not going to let this thing run for very long because obviously I got to get underneath of it and uh, change this transmission fluid. So, try to hold this door open and we'll do this cold start for you guys. Hopefully this thing's not too hot now that I did that. But for those of you just tuning in and don't know anything about this car, this car is pretty cool and very different. So this one has a fully custom rotated turbo kit on it, which a lot of you may know if you've been watching. Bam, this thing freaking is so cool. It made some good power. I'm not gonna ruin it now because we definitely do have a video coming for the reaction video and letting you know what this car made on pump gas. So I'm not gonna spoil that right now. Today's video is simply gonna be about this transmission cocktail that you guys have been asking about. And we use so much in this car here. And that car is probably due for a change. I think the fluid on it has 20,000 miles on it since the last time we changed it. And usually about every 30K is when we change the transmission fluid in the cars, guys. So this fluid works so freaking good because it helps all the synchros live longer, makes a smoother shift, makes it a better driving experience. You know, if you have a transmission that has a light grind, most of the time this will fix it. Now, it's not gonna fix it always by just changing the fluid, but usually when you drive them, you get, you know, about 500 to 1,000 miles, and the more miles you put on it, it seems the smoother they get. This had a terrible fourth gear grind because, well, your boy, freaking killed it on uh, one of the Mexico nights with Kellen. Maybe I'll be able to find the clip to put in here for you. I got locked out of fourth and I just sent it on the limiter holding it trying to go in because well I didn't want to lose the Kellen. And <laughs> And uh, it never went in and it ended up hurting the fourth gear synchro in that trans. And then we've had constant problems at the racetrack right after that. So we went ahead and we put the cocktail in this car and it got driven many miles with the wife on the last setup. And that thing is butter now. It shifts so smooth. Um, you'll notice in the video we just did on it, you might have heard that it grinded in third. And I think part of that was me because I didn't press the clutch in all the way. And I'm used to the car having a triple disc, so you can just barely tap it. This being an ACT clutch, to fully stop that disc, you should be pressing the clutch all the way in. So I did notice that, but it is due for fluid change anyways. So it completely fixed that transmission. It's fixed several other ones. This is really common with uh, the 19 plus transmissions and their whatever fluid they're using in those, it, it seems like it's water, guys. So I just had a 19 STI that we did this fluid cocktail on and it had a pretty bad fork or grind and it literally fixed it just by putting the fluid in the transmission. Didn't take any driving or anything, just literally it was gone. So 
really impressive this fluid constantly continues to impress me and works so good guys um this is what we use in our nine second sti transmissions you know it works so good guys i would definitely recommend it for a daily driver or a track car anything like that now enough talk about it let's see what we're going to be using and what is the fluid and what is the cocktail guys so let's check it out so here we have it guys the myth of fluid so what we like to use here is red line lightweight shock proof now depending on how bad your grind is in your transmission is going to depend on how much this you use now if you have a pretty bad grind in a sti transmission then i will use three of these and then one of the standard 7590 here now if you have just a light grind or you know you have a transmission you want to change the fluid on then i would probably use two of these and two of these so equally a four right so that's what we have here this is what we always use guys again this is it 7590 red line full synthetic gear oil there and then we have red line lightweight shock proof gear oil here so that's what we use that's the cocktail that's what's been hidden behind the scenes this is going to be available on the website guys we're going to sell this in a package for you so that way you know if you don't want to have to go around the internet and find it you can just go on our website find this i'm really hoping that i have this on there by the time this video goes live but like i said guys we've been working hard at our website and getting that thing updated so you guys can see that so this is the fluid we're going to be using today once again sti transmission you use two of these and two of these if you're just changing your fluid or have a really minor you know little glitch getting in the gear now if you have a bad glitch three of these and one of these so just so you guys see on these split case transmissions uh like a five speed or this is a six speed in this car which essentially is a 2015 plus wx transmission so technically we could just use all four quarts of this lightweight shock proof but for this thing it doesn't have really that much of a grind it has a little bit of a glitch getting into four so i'm going to use two of these today and uh two of these so that's what we're gonna be using on this car today obviously first step we got to get the car up in the air and we're gonna have to drain our fluid our transmission this has a fill plug right there this one actually has a dipstick on those cars they're gonna have um a different spot in the transmission let me grab the keys and i'll try to show you real quick all right let's pop this hood hopefully i'm able to show you on this car because there's so much shit in the way if not then i'll pick one of the other 10. okay so here we go wow everything's in the freaking way there's me no way i'm going to show you that hmm which car will be the easiest to show probably the white car no motor in it let's grab those keys just a moment all right we got the keys of this thing obviously well that's not going to work because we got no flipping battery in this thing all right let's open this up pop the hood lock the door before i forget and then i can show you guys where your fill plug is on anything 08 plus sti obviously here's your transmission this is going to be your fill plug here this is a 10 mil allen guys you just remove that and you're able to fill your transmission up so a lot of work just to show you that quick glance but that was a lot easier to show you than if i were to go and try to show you on one of the other ones then on the older years like 0407 sti essentially in the same spot they just have a dipstick which obviously you can find it same with the five speed so you can obviously find your dipstick and then the 15 plus wx's i think have a dipstick as well so now only thing that's left to do guys let's get this thing up in the air get that fluid drain get this new fluid in and then we'll go do a drive we'll see what it does like i said this had a little glitch getting in the fourth before i did hear it grind just a little bit not to a full grind but just definitely a little glitch so let's put that fluid in see what happens we'll go for this test drive you guys will get to see some of the drivability of this thing we'll give you some turbo noises tip into it but i'm not ruining the surprise that we have for when he comes and gets his reaction so let's get this car in the air guys now that you got your car up in the air we're gonna grab our handy dandy torque solution t70 socket guys you can pick this up on their website i always have their website link down below in the description but they make tools now and it is very nice he sent me this try out and this thing has been awesome to use now let's go under here and see where our drain plug is for those of you that don't know and you get to see this beautiful manifold once again so let's go down underneath here and if you look right here there is where our drain plug is going to be 
So that's what we gotta go ahead and get taken out. I'm gonna grab a breaker bar. These things are often most pretty freaking tight. So let's grab our breaker bar, get that thing broken loose, get a drain pan over here, and we will drain this into a bucket. And then we can torque it back together and we'll be good to go. So let's crawl out from underneath here. much stuff on our drain plug so that's always a good sign because this thing is magnetic and there really is hardly anything on here but as always we get a nice freaking leak here freaking new guy all right let me clean up this mess and we'll get this new fluid in here guys now we're done underneath the car you can pick up one of these funnels at your normal auto parts store this is what i prefer to use it's actually really handy because then we don't have to take a whole bunch of stuff apart so I can just put this down in here and come on of course doing this one-handed guys is not the easiest uh, this funnel works great for even top mount cars without even having to take the top mount off of the car there we go and once it's in this thing has a nice little holder look at that all right I'll grab our fluid let's see if I can do this one-handed shake it up guys All right, let's open this thing up. You wanna know what we usually call this stuff, guys? Is we usually call this a uh, smirk blood because it's blue. So, now, let's put this in. Yeah, look at that. And then obviously, after I get this one in, then I'll alternate. I'll put that regular 7590 in there. And this is probably going to take some bit of time, guys. This is freaking thick stuff. So this is going to take a little bit of time. Let me get this bottle in here. This stuff works freaking awesome, guys. I'll just talk to you while I'm pouring this in so I can show you the next one going in the car. But this stuff works so good. We've been using this stuff for the last nine years, ten years. And... I mean, it's been awesome to us. It's made our transmissions survive. It's made our transmissions do things that everybody says they can't. Oh, Hyper Blue over there. You know, stock trans, full weight car, eight second pass, 1100 wheel horsepower. Yeah, this stuff is really good fluid. Obviously it's not the cheapest stuff out there, but it will make your transmission survive. It'll make it more enjoyable to drive, smoother. And that's probably the best thing, you know, driver feedback is probably one of the things that you guys know I always focus on because that's why we buy these cars is to enjoy them and you know if you're not enjoying driving your car and it's grinding or harder to get in gear then it, what's the worth having in the car so this fluid helps with that a lot making it nice and smooth making you enjoy your car again and i'm big on that so now we got that done on one of those we're gonna pick up one of these not so much reason to shake this but we'll shake it like i said i'll alternate we're gonna be it's freaking hot out here i'm freaking sweating away we're going to be putting um, one of each in, so a total of four, guys, is what this thing will take. And that means one of each being that lightweight shockproof, and then the other being the 7590. Now I'm just trying to open this thing up. Come on. This stuff looks like normal gear oil. One in. Now, once I get all this stuff in here, then I can put my dipstick in, obviously check our fluid level, and we will be ready to go for that drive in this thing and show you guys a little bit of turbo noises and what this thing's like 
um, I'll give you a little bit of a hint. This thing came out great. It is still gonna be only on pump gas. That's just what he wanted. And this thing would greatly benefit by going on uh, E85. Uh, the engine, I wish it would have took more time than it did, but the builder of this engine, that's pretty common. Um, whatever their clearances are in the engine, it just doesn't like timing on pump gas. So with that being said, I wish it would have took more timing on pump gas, but then what it did, but I mean, if we put E85 in, obviously we wouldn't be at the limit of the octane of the fuel and we could push it further. That being said, our motors, um, you guys know I've played around with pump gas a lot in the past and some of you may not know that, that we currently hold the pump gas world record for a quarter mile on Subarus. Um, we did that, I think it's three years ago now, we've had that record. And it was in a full weight 2017 STI, this is turbo, GTX 3576 Gen 2. And the car went 1034, right? 1037, I'm sorry, 1037 at 134. I always get those backwards. But we hold the record for that. That was with a pretty shitty 60 foot too, like a 169 or 17 60 foot. Knowing what we know now, if I would have got that car to go a 14 60 foot, that car would have went a nine second pass on just plain old pump 92 octane, no additives, no meth injection, no bullshit like that. You know, some people will say it, have said in the past that we were using additives or we're using meth injection. No, we weren't using any of that bullshit. Lily went to the gas station, filled the car up, drove it to the track, went that pass, got kicked out for being too fast and no cage or anything like that. And then I daily drove the car. So, and that, fun fact guys, that was on a stock case too, just like this car, stage three. I often most don't have stage threes. I think that was one of the few I've ever had was that one. Most of the time I always have closed decks ever since I started with Subarus. And that thing gave me its little heart out. That thing was awesome. It was a trooper. Eventually we did hurt the motor. We broke a sleeve in it like you would think you would on a stock case because I got greedy and just, you know, it was pretty turned up and there's a freaking bee that's going to attack me. And we broke the case, but that's why I told you guys we're probably gonna stop where we are right now because I do know the limits and I know if we go any further of this thing, we're, we're playing with fire. We're already there. You know, we're at that limit with it and we're already kind of leaning on it, you know? And yeah, so enough of a little backstory for you guys. This freaking bee is gonna take me out. Come here, bud. I'm gonna fight fuckers. All right, I'm gonna get these other two quarts in here, get the scene back on the ground and we'll go for that drive, guys. Here, I was just blabbing you guys ear off, and I forgot my point of that, of talking about pump gas. So, in our past, we have played a lot of pump gas. I pushed the limits a lot of pump gas, motor building, tuning. Steve, you guys know he has the knowledge of the pump gas fire. That was who was tuning it back then. I'm very grateful to have him still, kind of, you know, showing me the ways on that and giving me the information that he has learned and we both learned together. But with that information, what I'm getting at, this thing didn't take as much timing as I would have really liked it to on pump gas. But this aim, she just took all the timing. That's because we got those pump gas fire specs in that motor. This ain't freaking beast. I could have pushed it way more on pump gas, guys. Made a 484 or 482 on pump gas on 25 pounds. We could have made her party. We probably could have made similar power as we did on E85 on the pump gas. We could have put this thing on 30, 32 pounds. Gave it some sauce or some timing. But what's the point? We already have E85 and I mean, it's just a little bit easier on the engine anyways. So that's what we were using in it and now back to this thing so that was my point guys all right finally time in the car and take this electric e-brake off not used to that thing and we are time to go drive the scene so let's back the scene up i've been letting it warm up obviously it's pretty warm outside at 88 degrees is what this thing says and that feels about right and it's pretty freaking hot out there so backing up here I'm just going to do the first initial drive now this transmission is still going to have some noise and clunks over here because it is a, one of the cable style, kind of like the 15 WX's are. And this is the test model for that. Transmission that's in the WX's is in this car. So it's still a five speed trans guys. It's still a split case, just like the five speeds you would find anywhere from, I guess I would relate it to 04 and up because you know 02, 03 they say it's a glass box. And, they pretty much all are glass boxes. 15 plus WX, it seems that they handle 400 wheel for a little bit, but they still all break eventually. 
so he knows that he is going to have to do a transmission at some point in this car but for now this thing drives so nice it's shifting much smoother already i can feel uh, i'm gonna drive this thing around a little bit do the drivability with the eyes you guys know the normal test 25 miles an hour because that's what it is everywhere around here so this is cruising along obviously it's pretty dark i'm just gonna adjust but this thing just cruises right along no issues this thing does have those fic 1650 cc injectors but it is doing great so i'm gonna get out here and then we'll do some driving with you guys so here we are cruising this thing and this thing is shifting beautifully over here super smooth guys and as promised i told you i'd give you a little bit of a taste of this thing it is showing 90 degrees out so i'm not gonna do anything crazy but i will tip into this thing real quick for you let you hear it just to give you a little taste of our man this thing is a blast guys this thing is such a ripper for what it is it is crazy i cannot wait for him to feel this alfredo this thing is going to take you by complete surprise because as you can see there she's an absolute ripper guys this thing is so much fun such a cool project hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with this one and seeing something different on the channel i know you guys always see normally stis on the channel and it, it is kind of nice and refreshing to see something new this has been an absolute blast of a project to do and i'm super excited for him to be able to enjoy this thing and we will definitely see this thing back i'm sure because i know he wants to do an sti six speed transmission and that would greatly help this car because this gear ratio that's in here is just so long right now guys these gears are just so freaking long so it would definitely make the car feel a ton faster by having those shorter gears but just a better gear ratio i know some of you might take that in a different way because you know if you are a slower shifter or not as experienced of a you know driving a manual car having longer years might help you more you know than it, it would be not but then also if longer years comes the car falls out of power when you shift to the next gear so just know that but i'm gonna tip into it one more time here for you guys just let you hear
super excited. And that is gonna wrap this up, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. This wasn't, hopefully it's just some boring video about doing transmission service. So we got to go out, show you a little taste of this thing. This thing is so freaking cool. And that is gonna wrap it up, guys. I gotta get to editing this video to keep you up with our daily uploads we've been doing. But thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I do, because I know I enjoy it. So I'm gonna get this up for you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Living life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. Turn me up. And I ain't slowing down. I ain't slowing down. I ain't slowing down. Living life up in the fast lane. Pedal to the ground. Pedal to the ground. Pedal to the ground. Living life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. Life, throw your lemons. You just put them in Coronas. Coronas, Coronas I've been working, working, I need that advance With the bonus, the bonus, the bonus Ain't no thoughts about tomorrow, I'm just living in the moment The moment, the moment Fool, take a guess and 200 on the dash Bitch, I'm zoning, I'm zoning, I'm zoning Fast lane Living life up in the fast lane Pedal to the ground, pedal to the ground, pedal to the ground Living life up in the fast lane